Hey, good morning, Hal with Alco 5. Working on a 539 cylinder head this morning, pressure testing it with water, make sure there's no internal cracks before we send this Alco 539 head out to be uh, refurbished. So you can see it right next to me here. We took the uh, four valves out yesterday, plugged the um, inch and a half water ports right there on both sides with expandable marine plugs. I've drove wooden dowels, 3 8 wooden dowels, into the six water passages around the outer perimeter of the head. And on the back side, we're going to uh, hook a garden hose and be able to pressurize it to about 60 PSI. And I'll show you that in just a second. So we're on the back side or the top of the cylinder head. This, where, this spot where the garden hose is hooked up, this is where the water jumper would connect. We took a steel plate. Drilled two holes, drilled a hole in the center, welded on a coupling. We can now hook a garden hose to it with a gasket underneath and uh, pressurize the head. Okay, the head's pressurized here. Getting some water leaking out of the dowel holes to be expected until they swell and seal up. Might want to try ones a little bit larger than 3 8 so you can pound them in a little bit uh, harder. But I'm not seeing any internal leaks. Nothing inside the um, valve passages or anywhere else leaking out of it just on the exterior here. So unless there's some small cracks that expand when it gets really hot, it looks like this is a probably a pretty good head and a good candidate to send out. The last thing we'll do is take a depth gauge. We'll check the fire ring right here to make sure we have at least a quarter of an inch of meat to be able to lap and surface. If not, they'll have to machine the entire head of the deck, the uh, deck of the head down this part right here to give it a little more clearance to build up that fire ring so it's within the right tolerance. So we've left the head here pressurized for, I don't know, about five minutes now. The leaks are slowing down as the dowels expand. Still not seeing any major uh, leaks or any leaks inside the um, valve ports or any part of the head. Inside, everything looks pretty good. So we're going to say this is a, a good head. Check out our online store, www.alco5locomotivestore.com. Thanks for watching. Check out our online store, www.alco5locomotivestore.com. Thanks for watching.